Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Star Wars Coffee. In this episode, we're going to be taking a look, a deep dive, into the second episode of Season 7 of The Clone Wars, A Distant Echo. That's right now on Star Wars Coffee. I have spoken. Hello there to all of the returning subscribers, but if you're new to the channel and you're just finding Star Wars Coffee for the first time, be sure to always hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and turn on that notification bell. And don't forget to check out Star Wars Coffee on Twitter and Twitch, and don't forget to check out the official Star Wars Coffee merchandise. Links are in the description below. Do it! And now let's go to a galaxy far, far away. This is the way. So this was the second episode of Season 7, it was called A Distant Echo, and obviously this episode's main plot hinged around an Echo, who is an ARC trooper who was perceived to be dead up until last episode, and Echo was a soldier in the Grand Army of the Republic, known for his strict adherence to orders and rules, hence his nickname which was sarcastically gifted by his clone brothers. Still. Uh, Echo proved to be among the bravest clones, integral in the defense of Rishi Station in Topaka City, and eventually achieved the rank of ARC Trooper. Through tragic circumstances, however, he would become something more than a normal clone, which is where we find him um, in this episode. And this episode begins with Anakin and Rex and the uh, Bad Batch and everything. And the episode overall was excellent. I really liked it. I think this was better than the second episode, mainly because I really like Rex as a character. Uh, that's just my personal preference. Um, you guys might have liked the first one better if you liked the more Bad Batch stuff. But in this episode, you know, at the beginning, I felt Anakin seemed very wise, and it wasn't foreshadowing his demise um, up at that point until he was eager to get Rex to cover the door so he could go and talk to Padme. And then it foreshadowed his demise. So it was really good. It was playing it kind of uh, in both ways, where it was showing that he was still a wise Jedi, he's clearly very skilled, but it was also showing his um, emotions getting the best of him at the same time. And it foreshadowed his demise with Padme single-handedly bringing the conflict to an end as, as she thought, which is, ends up to be what he does, in a sense, with the um, slaughter of all the Jedi. He essentially brings the conflict to an end, but in the way that he didn't anticipate doing at this point of the timeline. And it worried um, letting Rex's emotion getting in the way and Padme foreshadows his demise again when that's said, when Anakin tells him that. And then Padme says the same thing to him. And then Obi-Wan shows up, which was, you know, why Rex was guarding the door. And Anakin knew it was Obi-Wan when Rex started to bang on the door. And Anakin comes out and says, don't break it again. But <laughs> Obi-Wan clearly not fooled at all, says, I at least hope you told Padme that I said hello, which was, you know, just priceless. Obi-Wan's clearly not a moron. Anakin thinks he can hide these type of things, but it's Obi-Wan. He's been with Anakin since he was a boy, literally, since um, the Phantom Menace, so this should be no shock to him at all. And then we have the Bad Batch coming in. Anakin and Rex get on board, so it's Anakin and Rex and the Bad Batch in this episode as the focus. The music, again, was fantastic in this episode as well and the uh, Anakin gets carried away and the Bad Batch go on a rescue type of deal and the and the uh, that sequence was visually stunning it was really good um, I'm gonna call it the rescue sequence it was the uh, clip that we got from the teaser and then the, the continuation of that in the actual episode was excellent it wasn't actually rescue um, but I really like the fact that Rex takes the lead without the conflict like there was in the last episode up at this point Although we have some conflict later, it shows the growth of the relationship between the Bad Batch and the Regs, as the Bad Batch refers to them, as just regular clones. And I like that. I really liked how they brought tech in, how they're using all of the Bad Batches. None of them are really just there as um, filler characters, if you will, where they all have these actual abilities and they're all being utilized. I really liked tech in this episode. He was the MVP of the uh, Bad Batch in this episode. He's translating and doing uh, what 3PO would normally do if he was there and translating and communicating. And Anakin and Rex are essentially the ones communicating. Very effective. Again, showing both of these people are extremely intelligent, extremely skilled. But both of them let their emotions cloud their judgment. 
and um, beyond that, the the Bad Batch record was hilarious in this episode. He's not afraid of heights. He just has a, a issue with his relationship with gravity. I thought that was funny. Rex's feelings get in the way, and he causes some conflict. And fighting him when they prepare for Echo to be dead and left him for dead, he didn't have a choice. And Anakin is very responsible in that sequence where he's trying to tell Rex that you need to be prepared for the worst possibility that Echo is really dead and that this might be a trap and this it's very interesting because on the one hand again I keep coming back to this it's such a good job at showing Anakin's clear wisdom but if he could just compartmentalize his feelings for Padme and as he's supposed to be doing as a Jedi he would be such a powerful Jedi and it would have been excellent to see I thought about this during the episode how much more powerful of a Jedi he could have been and then Luke could have been it would have been absolutely insane it would have just been so amazing anyway back into the episode uh, proves that Rex isn't a brainwashed reg um, in the sense of when order 66 is executed Rex still clearly is very much with his own intelligence and he's not um, as brainwashed as let's say Cody was who's just strictly about following orders and then when we move on to this next section of the episode where we get echo signal type of thing we're regaining that more humor of heights with Wrecker and he just wants to crush him droids so he's just saying yeah let me get to these droids instead I won't worry about the heights very good very good I really loved visually the Bad Batch taking out all of these droids and highlighting each one of their skill sets. It was really well done. That whole sequence, all of the battle sequences in this season so far have been extra, extra excellent. Really, really, really good stuff. So my tip of the cap to this time off that I didn't want to close out this um, series, but it paid off so much in the way that it's visually such a stunning thing to see. And we get Anakin doing some good leading in this mission. He could have been such a good Jedi. I keep coming back to that point. Anakin, such a good leader. If it just, he's got his one fatal flaw, and that's what causes it for him. And then we get to the next point where the hunt for Echo begins, and Anakin is saved by the Bad Batch. And then we have Rex's feelings shine through as um, he continues to get more and more involved in finding Echo and more and more sure and passionate about it. We get more great battle sequences with Anakin and these droids and being saved. And then we have the tech is the doing more stuff to help actually get Echo to get the door open, to find a chamber in there, to get the life reading. And then the episode ends with Echo being alive. And I just think that this is such a great thing to really give us better insight into the personalities of all of these clones. That's such an underrated thing that we don't get to see as often, you know, at all in the films really. But it's so crucial, I think, to... Um, really put the emphasis on that. Yeah, this isn't just a, an army where we have a bunch of nameless faces despite the fact that they're clones They all have personalities and Rex really makes the point to say that when he says he's lost so many brothers and I just thought the episode was excellent. I hope you guys did too Let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below. Thank you guys for watching May God bless you and the force be with you if you enjoyed this episode, and frankly, even if you didn't, don't forget to subscribe. Do it! And if you want to help spread the word, please give this video a thumbs up and tell your friends to subscribe. Please check out the official Star Wars Coffee merchandise, and don't forget to check out all of the content playlists on this channel, including The Rise of Skywalker, The Mandalorian, and much more.